Hello everybody and welcome back to more political chatter. In this video we will be talking about how President Joe Biden does appear to be back. His chances in the 2024 presidential race have been boosted tremendously since Donald Trump's indictment. Donald Trump was indicted, or sorry, not indictments, conviction. Uh, indictments had really no effect on the general election race. Uh, that was back in what, uh, February, March um, of this year. But this conviction, on the other hand, that is a different story. Joe Biden has seen really a pretty significant boost from what we're seeing right now. And if the election was held tomorrow, his chances have greatly increased from that of before May 30th. So we have a new poll from a Florida Atlantic a, a University as well as Main Street USA polls. And this poll found that Joe Biden is up in the blue wall, in the entirety of the blue wall. This poll says that Biden will win Wisconsin by 5% in Biden v. Trump v. Kennedy. In Pennsylvania, the poll shows that Biden wins by 1% over Trump and Kennedy. In Michigan, Biden is up by a point over Trump and Kennedy. So this is, I think, uh, really significant. And this um, does not exactly follow every poll. Definitely the trend that we are seeing, this is completely in line with Biden now doing better. But I have, I do not remember the last time a single pollster had Biden up in all three states. I, I th really think that I'd remember it because I definitely would have made at least a community post about it and probably a video. But I cannot remember the last time in, you know, these recent months, um, at least in 2024, where Biden was up in all three blue wall states because, you know, Biden has been unfavored, really, this entire, you know, definitely all of 2024. He has been in the, you know, his chances have been lower than Donald Trump's. But when you look at the blue wall, um, all he would need is this. So these, you know, he's been unfavored this entire presidential race. And now polls, this poll basically says that Biden will win because this, uh, you know, assuming he wins all of the states in blue as well as Nebraska's second congressional district, which might be a little close, but definitely is likely Democratic or leans Democratic. Um, we see that all Biden would need once he gets this is the blue wall, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania, because that puts him at 270 electoral votes. He can let Donald Trump have Nevada, Arizona, Georgia, and North Carolina, four hugely important swing states. He doesn't even need to care about it if he wins the blue wall. And there, he wins 270 electoral votes to Donald Trump's 268. You need 270 to win. He, he, win, he beats Donald Trump by two electoral votes. It's excruciatingly close, but it is a win for Joe Biden. So, you know, this poll shows Biden winning. That is the point, right? That is what is significant about this poll. It shows Biden winning the 2024 presidential race. Um, basically, right, they only pulled three states, but that's what it shows. Um, and, you know, polls do not show Biden winning. You know, when, when pollsters pull uh, multiple states, you know, when they do all the swing states or wherever, Biden doesn't, he, he never wins. He just doesn't. That is what we have seen this entire presidential race is that, you know, as close as Biden may come, Donald Trump always beats Biden in these polls because, you know, Donald Trump, he just outnumbers Biden. When you do the math, Donald Trump is just favored in more states. Um, in, in that's in polls, at least in my current predictions, it's a little different because I don't fully believe the polls and, you know, it, more stuff goes into my predictions than just looking at polls. But the polls say that Trump um, is definitely just favored across the swing states. When you look at Nevada, Arizona, Georgia, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania, uh, the, the chances that Donald Trump can win, you know, four of the six or is just much greater, right, than Biden. But this poll is different, and this continues on a major 
major trend that we are seeing after Donald Trump's conviction. This race has completely changed because you see how uh, Donald Trump was leading, right? The red is where is when Donald Trump is leading. The blue is when Joe Biden is leading. This is an aggregate of national polls. And then you see uh, Donald Trump convicted on 34 counts and Donald Trump was leading. The day after, the day after the race flips and Biden is in the lead now. And we're seeing that now and he only expands his lead. So this has been really important for the development of the 2024 election. And when you look at these numbers, Biden is smart for campaigning on this. You know, it's there was a lot of um, I'm sure the Biden camp wondered what they should do with this, if they should mention it at all, because that might turn or that might, um, you know, turn to more voters believing that the that Biden and the Democrats were involved in, you know, this politically motivated trial or whatever. But uh, but. You know, looking at these numbers, even if that's the case, even even if that does cause a few voters to think like that, at the end of the day, it really, um, that it really would help Biden to campaign on this topic because these new polls are showing clearly, clearly demonstrating that Americans are much less uh, favorable towards Donald Trump because of these convictions. The more you drill the idea of Donald Trump being a convicted felon on 34 counts into voters' minds, it helps. It helps. Uh, it helps more people turn away from Trump, and that you know, those are the types of voters, these more centrist voters, who maybe you know, who make lean conservative, right, and who may have voted for Mitt Romney in 2012, maybe even Donald Trump in 2016 and 2020. Um, those voters uh, are extremely important in these elections because those are the voters that you could cross over the aisle, right? These are Republicans that the Biden campaign could gain. So that offsets, you know, uh, independents or libertarians or third-party voters or whatever turning to Trump or Democrats uh, not turning out for Biden because of his handling of the war in Gaza. It just offsets a lot, and it really boosts your chances. So, especially in the suburbs, the critical suburbs of Georgia, Pennsylvania, Arizona, uh, this helps a lot because the conviction, it is clear, hurts Trump. And Donald Trump has been on the decline when you look at his favorability rating. Not, you know, not uh, tremendously awful, right? I mean, um, at, at, on March 2nd, I remember seeing this I'm on social media that March 2nd, Donald Trump was the most favorable than he has been since, like, forever. Like, I think it was ever, literally, like, since they've been polling it. But you see that today it has dipped a little bit, and I think it'll only continue to dip after uh, this conviction. So, Biden is back. His chances had, had... Whoa, okay. His chances have definitely boosted. And I will let you all know what happens, as, as always. So, make sure to, to subscribe. Sorry, oh my gosh. If you haven't already, that helps out a lot. Um, check out all my other videos. Becoming a channel member really helps out a lot also. Uh, and yeah, I will see you all next time.